It's gonna be a pretty quick video. I'm just testing out new camera angles in the office. I'm gonna move everything around eventually anyway, but in this tutorial, we're gonna be changing page sizes in Adobe InDesign. I'm gonna show you how to do that, whether you wanna change the whole document page sizes or you just wanna change specific pages to be page sizes. So if you want multiple layouts inside of one document, which can be helpful if you're creating different types of uh, design layouts, that are all related to each other, but they require different sizing. Let's open up InDesign and get started. So what we have in front of me is just an eight and a half by 11 document. If I go over to my pages tab, I've got three different pages inside of here. So with the latest CC, we actually get this properties panel. Inside the properties panel, it is super easy to change your document settings. You can do it right here within that document window pane and you can just change the size. So if I want this to be maybe a half sheet of paper, so it's eight and a half wide by 5.5 inches tall, I can just change it right there. All the uh, pages in my document change. I also have this adjust layout button, which is actually something new that if you're in InDesign, you'll see them push it with the little pop-ups. If I hit that adjust layout button, it pulls up uh, well, a layout adjustment dialog panel. In here, I can actually make those same adjustments to all the layout, whether it's the margins, the bleed, or the page size. Another way of doing this, the old fashioned way, is going up to file, down to document setup. When I get document setup open, I have all these similar, similar attributes that I can adjust. So we could change this page size to something square, like four inches by four inches. This is the little pop-up I was talking about with the adjust layout option. We can also hit our preview button, and that's gonna preview that document size before we actually make that change. So one thing different about the document setup dialog box is that we have that option. If you wanna change pages specifically in your layout, but not every single page, what we can do is use the page tool. That's the third tool down in your toolbar. It's called the page tool and it's shift P, I think, to open that up. So if we click on this first page and we go to the properties panel, we actually get a different dialog box that talks about the page sizes uh, specifically for each individual page and we can open up either the master page or any of our numbered pages throughout our document so if we just have this selected on number one we can change the size let's say I want this one to be 10 by 5 just like that it's 10 by 5 and we go back to our pages layout and that's the only page that changed to that size so you notice our other pages as we scroll up and down are different sizes from that single one. You can do the same thing to the master pages as well. So if you wanna change, if you have like two or three sizes that appear frequently within your document, you can change master pages to be certain sizes and then apply those master pages to sections of your document. So you don't have to go through and change every single page individually like this. You can do it with master pages. Now the last thing I wanna show you is I realized that this is in inches and not everyone uses inches. You could just right click on the rulers here and change your horizontal and vertical units of measure. So if you're centimeters or maybe points or even pixels perhaps uh, to show the rulers, that's just command or control R to do that, to toggle them on and off. And the other way you can do this is by going up to InDesign down to preference. I think it's edit and then preferences or something, document property, something like that for PC users. Uh, but you can go to preferences and find units and increments and we can change all the ruler units here as well. And when you do that, let's say we go to points for instance, when you do that, it's gonna change everything over here in your document setup windows as well. So all of your page sizes are gonna use whatever your ruler units are. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned a thing or two pretty quick about resizing pages within Adobe InDesign. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials, and I'll see you next time. Still working on that outro. Thinking about changing the actual outro of the video as well. I don't know, I don't know. I might just leave it on this right now. I'm just talking to myself. You know, there's a bunch of garbage trucks going by right when I was trying to start this video, making a ton of noise. So I just sat here and waited, just waited. Just waited for them to go by.